Road trip! Woo! Okay, so I have a little podcast. Yeah. It's called The Trailer Talks, and it's about creativity. I'm here with uh, Rick Calvert, Hello. CEO, NMX. Yeah. It's a big deal out here. <laughs> so Rick, what's the one thing that you think everyone should know about living life creatively? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's not that hard. I'm not as philosophical, I guess. I, um, just to do what you're passionate about. How's that? That's beautiful. Is that fit? I mean, that's what I'm doing. And it is awesome. Yeah. Thank you for hosting us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. Great. Thanks very much. Is that all? That's it. That was easy. Easy peasy. I don't make these questions. So what's the most important thing that you think everyone should know about living a creative life? I think one of the most important things is that you are going to face massive resistance. And uh, I, I learned this from Stephen Pressfield in the, 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 art, the War of Art, that when you... Um, have fear and uncertainty and doubt and you are not sure whether or not you should do this or if the world is going to accept it or you think that you're a fraud. Instead, see that as a green light to move forward. So when fear creeps in, you creep forward. See that instead as not the excuse to not to do it, but in, in, in reality the justification to move forward. Because we all have this little thing inside of our head that Pressfield calls the resistance and every time we try to be creative it crops out and it wants to stop us and instead we need to see it as the green light to move forward. What's the one thing that you think everyone should know about living a creative life? Get ready for rejection because it's going to come and you got to be able to deal with it. You got to be able to move past it. You got to be able to enjoy it because it's coming no matter what. People are going to hate you. People are going to not like you. but when you get past that, that fear, mm -hmm. people are going to love you too. Thanks, Chris. Sorry your audio didn't work. We'll try again. Maybe we'll tap a take too. Hey, there we go. It's Chris Hi. All right. Hey, it's us again. It is. <laughs> we can do it better this time. We really can. Yes. All right, so what do you want to know? What's the one thing that you think everyone should know about living a creative life? Hmm. Well, I actually, I think the most important thing for everyone to know is that life itself is an act of creation, and therefore we are already all innately creative individuals. But what happens is, is as we're kids, we get these critics. You know, your finger painting is not good enough. Oh, that, that so, that's a song? Oh my God, please don't ever get into, like, singing. And so we get these inner critics that actually destroy our self-confidence and make us believe that we're not creative. Where, in fact, every day is living this act of creation. So I think we need to embrace that and ultimately find a way to kill off these inner critics in our head that are preventing us from living that creative life. And that's why I've done The Artist's Way a couple of times, which was a great 12-week program to get to that sort of creative living. And that's one of the key things it focuses on, actually killing off those inner critics so that we can live our full potential. Awesome. Great. Thank nice you to much. see you all. Great. Where do you got yourself? I got it. Oh, look at you. Awesome. Yay! So we're here with, do you want to be Dave or David Jackson? You know, just don't call me Dave. Only my brother can call me Davey. Oh, I won't call you Davey. That's, yeah. that's a five-year-old's name. Yes. yes. Either one. Dave, most people call me Dave. But okay. Whatever. It works. This is Call Me Dave Jackson. Okay. <laughs> and what's the one thing that you think everyone should know about living life creatively? The, the beauty of it is you are never bored. It's the fact that if you... My mom raised me one day, and I, I said, you know, Mom, I think I turned out okay. 
and I'm like, what was your secret to, to raising kids? She said, I tried not to say no. So if you wanted to try something and it wasn't going to kill you, okay, go ahead and do it. So I am a big, like, let's just throw it on the wall and see if it sticks. And if it doesn't, I can cross that off the list. That's, uh -huh. that's something that I don't need to do anymore. Um, I have failed many times. I like to fail forward. And in the end, you kind of go, okay, that was fun. Or, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to go floating down a river that's not full of water on an inner tube because it hurts your butt. Got that. Lesson. So, just uh, for me, just trying new things. Mm -hmm. And then along the way, you, you take those lessons and you take them forward and you try other new things. And in the end, by the time I'm 90, I should maybe have this down. Awesome. So, that Very would cool. be my answer. Whoa, you Oops, know sir. what? We're looking at ourselves in the mirror. That's just not... Got it. I got you want to do the selfie? Do the duck face first. There it is. <laughs> That's going cool on the website. Right on. Okay, so what's the one thing that you think everyone should know about living a life creatively? I saw a YouTube video of a guitarist uh, teaching a guitar lesson. And he takes a guitar, puts it down, and pulls out a stack of cash. And it says, here's one thing a guitar teacher can teach you. How to make money. Right? And that's one thing the artist needs to know how to do. You need to learn how to make money. So whatever that means, that you know, that means brilliant. right. It means learn how to promote yourself, learn how to brand yourself, learn how to distribute your content, whatever that content might be. All of those things. So that's one thing that the creative class needs to learn. Good deal. How to make money. All right. Yeah. Well, and you know what? I'll we'll just put this on the explicit list. <laughs> Is that right? We don't mind. Cool. We rock, we rock the tag. We're in Vegas. Rock the tag. We're in Vegas. Yeah. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. Yay. Oh Beautiful. my gosh, I gotta turn this way. That's my good sign. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Yay, introduce yourselves. Okay, my name is uh, Mike Madaluni from Kick-Ass Dad, uh, passionate parenting in a volatile world. This is David, my business partner, brother, friend. Awesome. Okay, friend what's loosely. <laughs> yes, yes. We're, we're, we're kind of mean to each other. So we learned to get along. But that's a real friendship. Yeah. That's honest. Yeah. 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 I don't like you either. Right now. I don't like you right like <laughs> These guys have a podcast, so you should go check it out. Check it out. Kick-Ass like, Dad. Right here. Right here. It's going to be right here. Oh, yeah. there's a camera. <laughs> and there's a camera. Then there's a camera. And, and then yeah, another camera. Because that's what we do. Because right. it's crazy. Yeah. So what's the one thing that you guys think everyone should know about living life creatively? Oh my god. Wait, do you want to start with that? That's a huge question. Closer. Do I want to start about that? Do you want to start about that? So living, okay, for me, living life creatively is not living inside other people's uh, boundaries and taking the personal limitations off myself and allowing my true creativity to come through. Because I, I believe we all have creativity, but we limit ourselves and we think, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, and just kind of stepping up and getting out there and saying, you know what, screw it, I'm going to go out and do my thing. I'm going to do me. We need to today. remember those, uh, those other voices that we hear, you know, the programming we've received our whole life is just that, it's other people's voices. You need to find your own and say something about it. Right. Do something about it. Right. Cool. Yeah. And so my creativity, I, I was a, a, I am a musician, and I've always loved doing that. You is a musician. I is a musician, and so, you know, getting out of my comfort zone and being willing to look like a fool up in front of other people and do podcasts and, you know, speak my mind. To me, that's the ultimate in creativity, is getting out there, not just sitting in my garage and, and, and doing and playing to myself, but, but sharing with other people. And, and it's scary, but it's absolutely life-changing. It's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Check out their podcast. Kick ass dad. He usually does talk more. It's really like almost. We just got done with the broadcast. We just got done with the broadcast inside. So I've used up my word allotment for the day. Yeah, I, I only give him seventeen hundred words, and he uses them like by noon. And now he's not allowed to speak anymore. No more. Cool. Well, and we may cut this out. How are you guys fucking up your kids? Oh, oh man. wow! Which day? Well, yeah, today. Today, not my, being there. Not being there. <laughs> their, their dad's in Vegas. <laughs> That's a good start. That's Dad's a good in start. Vegas. Dad's yeah. in Vegas. For work, sweetie, I swear. Yeah, right. for work. We're working. We are. This is work. Daddy's right. following his dream, and it led me to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'll bring you in a few years, sweetheart, I promise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm fucking my kid by, I don't know, <laughs> daily contact. Right, right. Daily contact. Daily contact. Yeah, too much contact. Oh too my much. gosh. Yes. Yeah. I'm a language role model. Yes, me too. Fuck it. So what's creativity to you? Ooh, what is creativity to you? You know, actually, I never answer my own questions. You don't. Which is sort of cheating. And it's really annoying. But I ask the questions, so now it's easy. It's his question now. I owned it. Oh, shit. All right. What's, what's the... What is like creativity? I don't like playing. I don't play well. You with don't others. play well with others. No, I don't. I really don't. But um, you. We have video from last night that shows otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Okay. Is the speaker here? Thank you. What is the one thing that you think everyone should know about living creatively? Be messy. I think it's really important to be messy. People are very concerned um, about being perfect the right first time out. I think if you learn that it's okay to be sloppy. And the, the guy helping us, the guy helping us, do you want to be on the podcast? This is the guy helping us right here. The guy behind he's from, the He's from Taggled um, at Taggled.com. Taggled.tv. Taggled.tv and. They Taggled. shindig last night. Shit, I missed a party. You were there. Damn it, what? I was, all right, yeah, I was, was it there. One bar? What was the name one, of that place we were at? Ibar. In the real Ibar. The Ibar. Well, the yeah, Ibar. that was great. Dancing, you don't remember dancing it, girls. Man. No, I remember didn't. Remember you got taggled? Remember? I got taggled. <laughs> <laughs> 